Well, I've been asked to do a video with tying one of my favourite flies. It's just a smaller version of the big tube fly. I tied in the other video. It's what I call a willy dog. It's a fly I've had quite a few salmon on. I had my last three salmon of last year's season on this fly. Uh, it's just a few different materials what I use on the smaller doubles to make them easier to tie and it's just different body really and the hair what I use is a bit finer and that's it. It's the base I've got a this is a size eight partridge oh, sorry patriot in gold thread twelve O Vegas in black For a tag, I've got medium oval silver. Take that up to level with the hook point. Three turns. Down between the hooks. The tail on this one, rather than the thicker floral fibres I use, this is actually just fluorescent yellow angel hair for the tail. Top. Cut. In rotate there. Doesn't have to be perfect once it's in the water. You could use a golden pheasant top feather for the tail if you want to, but I like the fluorescent in it. Body is holographic gold braid. A little tip when you're using tinsels, braid, I say a lot of anglers, a lot of tires cut one length for one fly. And when you do that, you end up with loads of them. Little tags, which are just a waste of materials. I've got a piece here that's about 18 inches long, which means I could probably tie seven, eight flies, which means I've saved seven or eight inches of material, if you know what I mean. It just makes it a little bit more awkward to handle, but turn that in. Bring it up to, uh, let's see, that's three mil from the eye. Wrap it. Try and make the body a little bit thicker by overlapping it. On the bigger flies, I would the body would be fluoro dubbin, fluoro yellow dubbin. But on these smaller flies, the gold works. I tie these down to size twelve, and they work great in clear water for the grills. Just a normal coat. I've always thought the best three colours for salmon is black, yellow, and orange. So I'll tie that one off, get rid of that rubbish off the end. Of. That's the, the tape off the end of the, the braid on the wall. First underwing is this is Shadow Fox Pelt. The fibres are a little bit softer. They're not as long, they're not good for like big scandies, but they're perfect for doubles. The fibres are a little bit softer, so when you come to do the head on these small flies, the fur compresses down a lot easier. A bit like Tanuki, but 
the, I used to nope you over the top of this, but this has a bit of stiffness to stop it wrapping the hook, so we'll make the underwing out of that. Cool that the rubbish out with the flake one and then make a a taper in the fur to taper the wing I'll just pull it from fold it flat and then pull it from behind and if it's tapered at that end it's tapered at the other end so squash it down to make like a nice tapered wing trying to get it as well it looks a bit like a an arrowhead shape and take that so the yonder wing is just past the tail. Rub it round, nip, pull down, get the fibres on the top, couple of turns, and use your nail, spread it a little bit on the on the top. Easier to get this together. Trim those fibres off. These fibres compress. You could use the underfur from Foxtail, but these fibres don't compress as well as this fur does. And uh, as always, a little dab of varnish on that bud. Fur. I don't like super glue, especially on these little flies. Flash. What I like for the doubles is this hens. It's super fine, the angel hair. And I use quite a bit on this fly. I think I've tried it with less flash and I, it's, I don't know why but I think catch less fish so there's actually quite a bit for the size of the fly. Down, double it over and then just feather it off with the scissors. So where you think your top wings want to come to on this fly, it'll be there. I tend to make these flies so the wing is probably double the length of the hook. Then just a simple black hen hack out. I can't tie as many small flies these days my hands. Arthritis and such is getting worse for as you get older, your hands get thicker and number, <laughs> and you can't feel as much. So, just a single black hackle, not too big. I didn't like to cover the whole body with the hackle. I like to strip up the fibres off the hackle and just tie the stem down. It makes the head a lot smaller. And all you do is put your thread over the, where the fibres end, turn the, the stem to a right angle and whip it down on line with the head. You don't need to double it back or anything. The head's going to be protected with varnish or I tend to use UV resin these days. Simple. 
overwing. This is the same fur as what I've just been using, but the fibres are twice as long. But it's a bit like tanuki fur, it's really, really fine and soft. But the only disadvantage, it's not very shiny, it's like a dull matte black, this fur, but yeah, it still works. The wing probably less than half the thickness of the underwing. You know, all you want really is a, a black strip, tape of that one. Just the same. Get it the other way, nip it down. There you have a nice tape. That goes. Actually, trim some of that. over the top and down yeah, and pull it's just really like a small a very small scanny fly that's all it is I use a lot of flies like this loads of movement in them I'm not one for bucktail much I use these for a lot of years without jungle cup, but I'll put jungle cup on this one. Don't like them too big. These are already, I don't know if you can see it, they are I've pre-trimmed the fibres down to the to the base of the eye. And if you do them both the same on the bench, it saves you having to try and measure them on the to line them up on the on the fly. I didn't bother folding them back because there's a bit of varnish under there. We'll make sure they are lined up. the head. Quite a simple fly but it works well. I tend to find when I go onto these doubles the water still has a hint of colour in it. And we finish. On doubles, a lot of people just do four turns. I actually whip finish the whole head. Just don't pull it too tight. Yeah, some way of the finish. Start from the back, working your way forward. Then if, when you come to cut the thread, if there's a little target, it's hidden in the materials. UV is as good as three and four quarts of varnish, so and that's it. That's the Willy Dog. I think I can't remember when I first started tying this, but I've had a lot of salmon on it, and it tends to fish well in peaty water, but in these smaller sizes, it fishes very well in clear water, so 
this one will be getting a swim this season, no doubt. But uh, won't be like that. There's a bit of a close up, a bit of a close up of the fly. If you tie some, I hope I catch you some fish. Thanks very much for watching.